Hello, my name is Giorgio Russo and I'm from the Urology Clinic of the University of Catania. First of all, I will thank you, the British Journal of Urology, for the opportunity to talk about this paper. And also, I will thank you, my chairman, Professor Giuseppe Morgia, for the chance to perform this research. And I will talk to you about the paper published in BJU, the increase of Framingham cardiovascular disease risk score is associated with severity of lower urinary tract symptoms. As you know, the Framingham Heart Study was the longest running study of cardiovascular disease in the world, and it began in the 1948, and the original cohort was about uh, 5,000 of subjects. The aim of this study was to assess the association between several risk factors and the estimated risk of cardiovascular events. Others demonstrated that age, hypertension, diabetes, and low HDL cholesterol and high total cholesterol and smoking status were associated with a greater incidence of cardiovascular and cerebral events after years of follow-up. After 1950, several articles have been published demonstrating the importance of the results found in the Framingham Heart Study. But what about the association between cardiovascular disease and lower urinary tract symptoms secondary to Bain prostatic obstruction? As you know, the incidence of BPH increased with aging, with a great incidence between 60s and 70s. Several articles have demonstrated that cardiovascular disease, erectile dysfunction and venous prostatic obstruction share a lot of common factors. Among these, we remember endothelium dysfunction and also inflammation. As demonstrated by Professor Gacci in the article published on European Urology in 2011, BPH LATS and erectile dysfunction also share several pathogenic pathways. Among these, we remember autonomic hyperactivity and also pelvic atherosclerosis. We know that these risk factors also determine several diseases like hypertension or metabolic syndrome and also cardiovascular disease. As concerning these premises, we have recently demonstrated that the presence of insulin resistance was associated with more severity of lower urinary tract symptoms and also with severity of erectile dysfunction. These results demonstrated and showed that insulin resistance was associated also with LATS and erectile dysfunction. So the aim of this cross-sectional study was to determine the relationship between LATS BPH and the 10-year risk of cardiovascular disease assessed by the Framingham Cardiovascular Risk Score in a cohort of patients affected by lower urinary tract symptoms. The Framingham Risk Score was calculated using online tool. If you look at this figure, we use the age of patients of the presence of hypertension or the levels of blood pressure, but also the presence of diabetes and the levels of HDL cholesterol and total cholesterol to assess, determine the risk of the 10-year cardiovascular events in these patients affected by LATS. We included more than 300 of subjects affected by LATS. And LATS were calculated using the International Prostate of Symptom Score. The Framingham Risk Score was divided into three groups. The first group had an estimated risk of cardiovascular events less than 10%. The intermediate risk had an estimated probability to have cardiovascular events between 10 and 20% and the last group, called the high-risk group, had the rate of probability of having cardiovascular disease more than 20%. More than 50% of these patients had an intermediate risk of cardiovascular events, and also about 20% of patients 
were in the high risk group. At the multivariate linear regression analysis, we demonstrated that the increase of the Framingham risk score was associated with more severity of LATS. These findings showed the importance of the relationship between cardiovascular events and severity of lower urinary tract symptoms. At the multivariate logistic regression analysis, the Framingham risk score was associated with moderate to severe LATS. In particular, the intermediate group determined a twofold increase of risk of having cardiovascular events at 10 years in these patients, but also the high risk score increased of about eightfold the risk of cardiovascular events. In conclusion, we showed an increased risk of adding Framingham risk score more than 10% in men with moderate to severe LATS. We may postulate that common pathogenic pathways exist between both diseases, demonstrating a strong relationship between cardiovascular disease and lower urinary tract symptoms secondary to benign prostatic hyperplasia. Although LATS BPH could not be related with myocardial infection, it may be a reliable risk evaluator of cardiovascular disease risk due to the affinity of risk factors. Thank you for the attention and for your time.